You are joining us as we are literally crossing the border from Luxembourg to Deutschland now. Five years ago, we did a road trip around Europe with friends where Alex proposed and we started our YouTube channel. Now on our first trip since lockdown, we've grabbed our masks and are heading back to the place that we got engaged in Czech Republic, making some new memories along the way. Today we are making our way to Würzburg for the start of the romantic road. En route we will be going on the world famous autobahn for the very first time. I cannot guarantee if this video is going to avoid any German stereotypes. Because <laughs> I love a stereotype and I like a generalization and a blank sweeping statement and I am here to do them all with my German friends. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful on the autobahn. I'm having such a nice time. You sound like the um, the caterpillar from Bugs Life. Yeah. <laughs> Princess, leave them alone. They have poo poo hands. Oh, I'm thinking of the fat German boy from uh, Simpsons. Don't make me run. I'm full of chocolate. Oh, you know oh I thought you were going to say um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, the water barn is too fast! <laughs> oh my god, stop it, you're so offensive. I'm not even German and I'm offended. <laughs> Uh, I always thought that the autobahn was just this lawless road where just people are just going absolutely mad, just flying past everyone. But like, it's, it's like a really dangerous, like wild, wild west of a road in my mind. But I've learned today that basically there are speed limits. It's just that there's a number of sections where there isn't speed limits. So currently we are on a section that's 130 kilometers an hour. Um, it's just like a normal road, it really isn't that interesting. No, but I'm very sensible. Can't wait to get onto the point when we can go any speed because you're not gonna go fast, are you? No, I like speed limits. Emma is insanely annoying when we're driving. If I go over one mile over the speed limit, well, like, she's wait. there looking. Kinda like some fascist dictator from like I can't think of a, a fascist dictator, <laughs> but she's <laughs> Stop as soon it. as it goes over one mile, she is ready to pounce, and then we start to argue because I'm like, it's, it's one mile, it doesn't Speed matter. Speed are there for a reason. Safety first. Oh, it's annoying. Since tempting the autobahn gods, the sat nav <laughs> has taken us away through the most rural of areas, and oh. we've been stuck behind the slowest people. There is nothing efficient about this journey so far. <laughs> and, and I have mild disappointment. Yeah. But it's very beautiful. Have a look outside with my face at the same time. The speed thing. We have a speed thing that's usually here telling us the speed. It's just gone. What does that mean? It means that I'm flying right now. I'm going a whole 150 kilometers. More, an hour. more. What's the point? Faster, faster. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Let me safely get into this lane. Can you okay. scream for a thumbnail? Ah! <laughs> now. <laughs> Looks scared. Oh boy, I am scared. Looks scared I for a Thank you. <laughs> oh, that came in just on time. We really were on the auto now. We really were, weren't we? And now the title of this video is correct. I'm doing a whole 140 kilometers an hour. I don't think I've ever driven that fast before. What's that in miles for real people? Like 90? Is it? Yeah. You've never driven 90? I don't think so. Jesus, break the rules for once. <laughs> look how satisfying this lane usage is. Yes! Look at it! They're using them correctly! So now we're completely experienced on the autobahn. <laughs> What's your review? It is quite nice to not have to constantly be looking at the speedometer to see how fast you're going. Like, I'm not having to constantly be like, am I breaking the speed limit? Am I breaking the speed limit? Well, that's extremely diplomatic, whereas I'm going to give you a different answer. That it is wildly overrated. Well, I mean, yeah, it is. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know how rated it is, but before doing this, I looked on YouTube and there's loads of other travel vloggers talking about how great it is. 
I mean, it's barely a novelty. It's just a German road. It's a road. It's just, <laughs> it's just a, road. a German road with people going pretty fast on it. Yeah. But that's all it is. Yeah. I mean, it's very useful for getting it from A to B. I'm delighted it's here and available to get us to Würzburg. But one of the most disappointing thing about road trips that I always forget about is this. Bugs, <laughs> bugs, 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 bugs. Especially for filming. Yeah. Look how gross it is. Well, I have been just driving really fast on the autobahn, so... Um, Spraying and splattering bugs. <laughs> Some of you may have seen in past videos, we've been using an app to find free parking slash camping spots um, throughout our trip called Park Four Night. And this, by the way, is not affiliated with them at all. We just found it really useful. And they've they've shown a spot here right in the center of Würzburg, which is alongside Würzburg. Würzburg, all right. <laughs> Parks <laughs> a lot like alongside the river with a view of the castle surrounded by vineyards. I don't think we could be any more central right now. This is perfect. 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 <laughs> On our way into the centre, the most bizarre thing happened. We got recognised by a subscriber in the streets, and our new friend kindly offered to take us on a socially distant tour of the city. Würzburg is a city located in the Franconia region of northern Bavaria, boasting some gorgeous Baroque architecture and the impressive UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Residence Palace. Würzburg is not only a wonderful location for history and architecture buffs, but also for wine lovers. The area surrounding Würzburg boasts three of the country's largest wine producers, and nearly every town in this area has its own wine fest each year, similar to Oktoberfest in Munich, where wine is drunk instead of beer. Unfortunately, there was no wine fest going on during our visit, but there was no chance of us leaving without trying some. This is our first time going to a restaurant since COVID happened. We haven't eaten out once. We've got takeaway once or twice, but that's the extent of it. So I'm very excited about this. It feels pretty safe. Um, everyone's spread out really well and um, the waitress has a mask on and everything and she's cleaning every table between each customer. We've got ourselves some food and more importantly, some local drinks. I'm really excited because this region of Germany is famous for its wine and I've gone for a glass of the local wine here. And if I actually had German wine before, I don't think. Uh, or if I have, it's unknowing. Bein, I think. Oh, wine, sorry. I've not had German wine before. <laughs> so this is going to be my first ever try of it. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Wunderbar. That's too easy to drink. I'm going to be drinking a lot of this. I'm not a wine connoisseur, so I don't, I can't tell you all the tasting notes or anything like that, but it's really nice. It's fresh, it's light. I could drink quite a few of them. Sausage and chips. I'm home. <laughs> I've got a German beer the size of my head. I have a very small head, to be fair. And, <laughs> but what I'm excited, well, firstly. And how oh, is my it? God. Best beer of the trip so far. Mmm. <laughs> Let everybody know I'm, I'm an expert in cider. <laughs> Not so much in beer, but I love it. Mm. But I'm here for the sausage, and I always have been. <laughs> it's sausage on a bed of sauerkraut with according to this dark bread which doesn't feel so good but I'm not here for the bread is that too much sauerkraut ratio? I think that's great okay here we go oh. <laughs> I just said I'm, I'm home there you go now that is the bite of champions <laughs> is what you come to expect from food reviews from out oh my god Good. They don't call me Sausage Boy for nothing because I know my sausages and these are great sausages and you need to check them out. These are Franconian sausages. Oh my god, it's incredible. <laughs> I was worried it was going to be a Frankfurter and uh, for people that watch the American series, you will know how much sort of hate I've given the Frankfurter because people think I can't distinguish a Frankfurter from a sausage, but in England anything that is shaped like this is a sausage. <laughs> Waggle your sausage at me. <laughs> I'm a sausage waggler and you should not. I don't know. Did 
Danke schön, wunderbar Wein. Danke schön, wunderbar Wein. Sprechen die Deutsch? Nein! Now I've regaled you with a beautiful rendition of Wonder Bar Vine by Alex Collins. I just, I just wanted to point out how crazy it is that we got recognised. On our travels, that doesn't happen. And we're in a small little place in Germany, just casually minor in business, walking along. Throwing some rubbish in the bin, some bloke. He's like, I know you I guys. Know you you like, on YouTube. Like, what, are we famous what? now? Am I John Major, the ex-Prime Minister of England? <laughs> So we've had, yet again, another successful night for free in the car. And in the city centre. Yeah, I, I can't believe actually what a good spot that was. It was, what, 10 minutes maximum to walk right into the city centre. It was right alongside the river as well, so really beautiful. You could see the castle surrounded by vineyards. Like, it could have been more idyllic, to be honest. Also, the night itself Please was... Please proceed to the highlighted route and then the route guidance will start. Shh. Also, the night itself was perfect. It really did feel like a very normal... Holiday. Uh, yeah. It felt like we were on holiday because the temperature here is a lot warmer than it has been in Luxembourg or Belgium. So you have that kind of like humidity and warmth in the air in the evening, the smells of like people smoking and drinking outside mm -hmm. and... Yeah, there was something, especially sitting outside and having a meal, as well as being practical with the virus, it made it feel more like we were on holiday. That said, lovely. the bridge was probably the worst part of this trip so far, mm. just in that it was so busy that as we were walking on it, was the first time we didn't really feel completely safe yeah. in terms of the virus. Because we, we went there thinking that would be a really nice place. There was a lots of um, locals sort of on the bridge drinking wine. Mm -hmm. It looked like a fantastic place to do it. But when we went there, we thought, sod this, it is mm -hmm. way too busy. I felt like I needed a mask even though I was outside. You know, that's how busy it was. So that's when we decided to head somewhere else a bit quieter. All in all, top day, autobahn, drinks, local wine, local beers in a, a tiny little place that I never even heard of mm -hmm. in the middle of Germany. Fantastic. We are now going to make our way to the romantic road towards Bavaria. So we're going to have to love you and leave you. Yes. So if you would like to be notified of those future videos, make sure you hit subscribe and of course the notification bell. Leave in the comments. What's your guilty pleasure food? Mine is sausage and chips. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, don't forget to like the video. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time and beans out! Next time on Travel Beans. I don't even know what to do. Well, you probably shouldn't have been bragging about how perfect this place was.